All right, we have the actual set here itself. We're gonna be changing it into a build, hopefully to fit uh, kind of with the most as you can, Tina. This is gonna go really good or really bad. Uh, so yeah, let's see what I can do. Okay, so the final product, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, of course I kept this door. I just thought it was really, really cool and I thought I had to have it. Honestly, this door was probably one of my favorite parts of the build if it, if it wasn't so, uh, needy sometimes i feel like it just doesn't like work as well as like you designed it to maybe i rebuilt it wrong but yeah that's that's like the only part that kind of annoys me with this but that's fine yep there we go anyway here's the actual build do a little 360. now i made it uneven on purpose i i'm just like like it was always even and i wanted to change that up a little bit so i kind of went with an uneven look um, so it's obviously bigger on the left side. It's actually, I believe, a two stud difference than the right side. So yeah, actually, yeah, two stud difference. Anyway, flipping it around, we have a little bit of green wing on this side. Now I actually use the whole back of the palace. I just, this is gonna be in the corner and nobody's really gonna be looking at it, but I thought it was a good way to start. Um, we have some mini figures right there. They're not actual Star Wars, they're kind of custom. Anyway, we have some more green wing. Now I kind of went with like some open looks, like the cheap building, and yeah. But here's the roof. It's it's flat, and it's not exactly like Mos Eisley Cantina, but we can't copy that word for word considering we don't have the dome pieces. If I do get some of those in the mail, I will actually probably redo the roof. But I wanted to make this only from Book of Boba Fett's palace. So yeah, that's exactly what I did actually. This is completely 100% made from the Book of Boba Fett's palace. So yeah, that is really, really cool. No, anyway, um, I actually made sure the remo the roof was removable. So yeah, you can completely take the roof off and there's a full interior. Now the interior is a little lackluster, but that's due to me just using pieces from the actual set itself. And the flooring definitely needs some work. But again, I made this so it's just from the palace. I will change this up, but yeah, we go inside. We have three seats. Of course, the back wall with some drinks on it, um, some minifigures in there. Then we have the door, obviously, that they come in. And then a little kitchen area with a another minifigure standing out there. Now, I know it's a little bit lame of a build. Um, but I think, me personally, it looks a lot better than the actual palace itself. Now, here are all the remaining pieces I had left. Um, there's quite a bit. Um, you could definitely could build something else out of it, but I'm going to keep these plates just so I can build other stuff. I would rather build these on tan plates, to be honest. That That's the one thing I would change, and I might end up changing that. But for now, that's what I have it built out of. Um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think down below. Um, if this video gets to 10 likes, I will get some instructions. Or if somebody comments that they want instructions for this, um, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely be willing to do that. So yeah, like, subscribe, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.